I lost a small butt plug inside of a girl once. Really? Yeah, yeah and it went in her. <laughs> you guys got to buy bigger butt plugs or find smaller ass. No, no, no. Women. So they have three sizes. It's like a little butt yeah, plug. Yeah, it is. Kit. When you buy the it's kit, a, it's yeah, three of them. Yeah. Kit. So you start to gauge out the fucking what I'm assholes, about? doggy. Yeah, yeah. So you, oh, you do the first my one. My first butt but plug. But this girl, she didn't really need to get the first one. Part two, that turned me on. One time I was with a bitch. I'm like, is that what put Nope was about? <laughs> <laughs> Was it? Was that? I couldn't. I never knew what it was about. Is that what it was? <laughs> you don't have time to go to the movies. Yeah, basically. <laughs> One, like he talking about, you got the set. One time, uh, uh, you know, cause you. I mean, you know, you 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 you. you you, you're trying to you're trying to get it going. You yeah. just can't go off the rip and whip the big boy out on the bitch. So I had to look. I'm like, what's up? You want to put this in your booty? She like, man, that's way too little to be putting in my booty. <laughs> my dick just went strong. <laughs> wow. When I no, I lost. I was dating a chick. I'm like, what? This too little? Oh, I got some fire. I uh, I I was dating a chick and it and it sucked into her butthole and she didn't know that it completely it's, sucked into her bro, butthole. That shit. Wow. So, so scary. I was kind of freaking out silently as I was trying to like do this oh, to get yeah, it out yeah, of her. Yeah. You got to get the scissor fingers in there like when you lose a condom inside. You know, I'm just fingering you awkwardly like this and doing this a lot. You, you like don't the, like this? It's not hitting your G spot. The claw that like picks up the game. You know. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Shit ruined sure. my trip. <laughs> it's a double I, I had like four bitches with me. I flew out to ABN to hang out. That but the butt plug swallowed in the bitch ass. The next day, shit was a little quiet. I had to take the bitch to Nobu. <laughs> <laughs> had to make up for. How'd you get it out? Uh, I, I went up in there. Yep. <laughs> Fingers. Yeah, and you were able to get it grip with of the, the bottom. Crawlers. <laughs> you got, is there a loop on the bottom to grab? Or I grabbed that motherfucker out. We, <laughs> I wasn't going to no hospital with this injury. <laughs> I've been doing Molly. I'm, I'm really doing blow all type of crazy. Just keep shit. smiling the doctors so they five, know your girl's got a big it's butthole. Me and five random dumb looking bitches too. Oh. That's that shit about porn stars. Bro, when we show up, they like, oh yeah, man, this nigga got money. <laughs> Ain't no way he to be hanging with these bitches, man. What the fuck going on in life? <laughs> they were gonna light me up, Aubrey. That girl's got a punch card for getting things pulled out of her ass. <laughs> Can I say a couple? Goes, oh, couple is that Diana? She's back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's get in gonna here. watch this too. I know it too. She's watching this shit. So shouts out to you, baby. Um, <laughs> can, can I? A couple funny things happened today before the show even started. Number one, um, we didn't think Che was coming because wow. he was running late, which is, I, I'm, I'm glad that you came. But at one point. It's so funny. I, I it can't was, believe you actually have notes for this show. Well, we have notes, of course. <laughs> Every <laughs> week. Rape, rape, racism, rape. I really thought she was winging it this whole time. You, yeah. <laughs> you prepared? Yeah, yeah. But feel free to look, Che. They are all the topics you'd think. Yeah, it's, it's exactly just written down see. properly. Losing butt plugs. Okay, that's number one. We got that. Losing butt plugs is crazy. <laughs> yeah, the N and the G keys on our keyboard are completely broken. Uh, <laughs> So uh, a couple a couple funny things happened. We thought Che wasn't coming. So then I guess you texted Jay back, and there was, we were at the bar, and it was loud. So Jay <laughs> goes to me. He's like, hey, dude, don't worry. And I, what I thought he said was, Shane is coming. And I was like, oh, cool. Well, Shane will come instead of Che. But what he said was, Che is coming, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But he said that he's got to come down from 30 Rock, which I just think is hilarious. Like I just pictured Shane standing outside of 30 Rock, like crying. <laughs> <laughs> you sons of bitches! <laughs> Cowards! <laughs> you see they're like uh, school ties? Cowards! <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's standing in the rain outside of 30 Rock. He's holding up, <laughs> holding up a boom box outside of Lauren's window. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll tell you another fun thing we almost had before the show when we thought you weren't coming for a minute we thought a fun bit would be to hold auditions to who could replace dave smith and i just realized as i see her in the hallway that we told janine garofalo we we're gonna do that bit yeah janine come on anyway let's do it hey, we're doing what's it what's up janine janine garofalo the queen they hear up a chair. <laughs> what a fucking wild show this is yeah. what's up janine thank you hi <laughs> thank you is this, is this on? It is on. You don't have to do it. Were you going to say, but we decided not to do it? Lewis was going to kill the bit. I was going to kill the bit, but we still oh, want no. you on so the show. You're not to feel obligated. Just no, we're not feeling obligated. We love you. You're a legend. I felt like with the tone, the tone you were saying, we're yeah. not going to do it. No, what's no, funny was you. when Lewis said at first we weren't going to do it, I forgot because we smoke a copious amount that's of pot. Okay. That we asked you to do it, and you said yes. And but then I was like, We did oh. not expect you to say okay, yes at all. Notes. I made notes for the. 
Because she was going to audition to be the new Dave yeah. Smith. I think uh, you could do it. I think I think it's a well, easy job. Well, would you keep it super brief? I, I can start by deliberately misunderstanding Ayn Rand, if you want. <laughs> and, the gloves are off. We can, or we can, we can use Leo Strauss from the University of Chicago School of Economics. <laughs> well, I can take one or the other tack. Um, or maybe, you know, Gav, Gavin McGinnis. <laughs> and... <laughs> Should he have been let go of Vice? I mean, it was so less mean-spirited without him, so. <laughs> but then he went to the Proud Boys. Now, that, I didn't even need notes for that. I had in my head. Yeah, because they're sitting but in front of you. It's, uh, but no, no, no. The Anne, the Anne Rand stuff, I didn't want to forget. And then I have the invisible hand of the free market. <laughs> uh, Dave's uh, big on the free market. How do you feel about roads? Should the government make them, or should we just trust, like, Tom to do it? <laughs> How do I feel about Tom what? is a proud boy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Do you bring your milk? Do you have milk for the, the initiation? Look at his fucking hair. He's got such proud boy hair. It's that ridiculous, is, Tom. That is some Shave proud your boy dumb proud boy make, fucking hair. That is Tom? some proud I didn't boy have, hair. I didn't hear what you said. So the government make what? Oh, I... I forget. Dave, <laughs> Jay, Jay will fall apart if he has to if he has to make more than two political yeah. jokes in a row. I only have, yeah, that was the big one. No, I think it was just a genuine question. I don't it may know. Have been. Oh, I was saying Dave about Dave's beliefs about the roads. That's what I asked. I said, do you think the government should build the roads, well, or do they, you think if you have a house that you need a road to, that should be on you? Well, if if that is what libertarian is well we are well dave tells me that's the whole thing because well, i don't yet, understand then, politics <laughs> i know that libertarians will sometimes say the individual but they avail themselves of all the public things can i can i just that, chime in for one second yes. i feel like we should be talking about little baby fans destroying festival grounds after the rapper canceled the set and stuff. what <laughs> and then letting her be republican about that yeah it's way better <laughs> this is new to me well, what happened it, so did i get the job you got the job <laughs> <laughs> you're the new dave smith <laughs> Probably. Then that. Then that's my time. Are you sure you don't want to watch Little Baby Destroy Festival Grounds? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Little Baby Destroy Festival. Yeah, yeah. No, not Little Baby. His fans. His fans. Oh. Yeah. The All the little Festival babies. Grounds. When did this yeah. happen? Oh, I, uh, that is the name. <laughs> oh, in Vancouver. Oh yeah, Vancouver. Some crackhead shit. <laughs> Can I tell you something? You're not wrong. Vancouver also has one Bro. of the craziest hockey riots like ever that happened. Like they lost or something, right? And they destroyed the yeah, city. Like I love yeah. Vancouver. I ain't even gonna lie, but it's 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 fending it's on it out. Fucked up. Yeah, yeah. for sure. They off the blues. They off the blues everywhere. That's where they do most intervention Bro. episodes. <laughs> True story. For real? Yeah, most of it's Vancouver? in Canada. Vancouver. Yeah. No, they fucked up out there. But though. they have a great Justin Thoreau, the Canadian Prime Minister, great actor. <laughs> <laughs> Mulholland Drive. Yeah, Mulholland yeah. Anything Drive. David Lynch, I'm on board. Yeah. 